The fans got double their money's worth Saturday at Callahan Hall as both the men and women's teams competed. Though this was home court for the Titans, the Grizzlies fans who made the trip to Callahan Hall went home happy as their Grizzlies took home the victory in both the men's and women's games. The women got started as Oakland beat Detroit Mercy 78-69. The Grizzlies took a bite out of the Titans, beating them 77-69. Corey Petros led the way with 23 points and 13 rebounds. While Duke Mondi scored 18 and Travis Bader scored 14. Both Mondi and Bader hit clutch three-point shots to seal the victory for the Grizzlies. Juan Howard Jr. led the Titans with 15 points. I got more texts today than before. I mean, we played the NCAA tournament. We played good games. I, I, I probably got 150 good luck texts today from numbers I didn't even know how they got my number. I don't know. All right. Um, listen, listen. I mean, this is this this is this is meaningful to open. Now, do you think this is a sweatshop or seen out of full metal jacket? This can't be any farther from the truth. There's plenty of laughs and good times to go along with the training. Even Coach Warren Haight enjoys it here because of the atmosphere. Um, here it's very loving and it's very atmosphere, it's very energetic based. So we like to have fun with everything we do. So we try to keep um, every player's attitude positive and upbeat. If they make a mistake, we tell them to just let it go, let it be, move on, let's get it rolling, let's do something better with it. I absolutely love to watch them graduate and move on to play in college and I keep tabs on them and they're they're always giving me their updates of their of their collegiate life. So that's a really nice accomplishment. He has a real vision. I actually got to meet him before I applied to be his assistant. So I got to actually spend a couple days like with his his close team and actually get to talk to him. He has a real vision that he's optimistic about, you know, he doesn't listen to all the negativity about Detroit. And I think it's cool the way that he thinks that we can grow is through like that tech side of things. You know, he's trying to make Detroit like a tech hub. People tend to want to just sum it up as it's Detroit, it's a lost cause. And I've always hated that notion. So I like being part of a company that is very much involved with making Detroit not only what it was, but something more. Um, you know, growing it into something great again. Hi, I'm Seth Walker and I'm from the Spex Howard School of Media Arts and I am right here on the fifth floor of the One Woodward Building right here in beautiful downtown Detroit, which has been the center of a revitalment here for the entire city of Detroit, thanks to the one and only Dan Gilbert, owner of Quicken Loans. And according to a couple of the employees here, Quicken Loans is a fabulous place to work at, so let's hear from a couple of them. Hi, I'm Seth Walker from the Spex Howard School of Media Arts, and behind me are the players and coaches of Supernova Volleyball. This is a club volleyball association located in Clarkston, Michigan, designed to help the girls from North Oakland County hone their volleyball skills so they can hopefully use them at the college level. Well, it's not all business working here at Quicken Loans, as you can see. It can be pretty fun here, too, for the employees that work here. They get to be part of something bigger, part of a thriving team here in downtown Detroit. So with that said, you heard it from me, Seth Walker, from the Spex Tower School of Media Arts. With the atmosphere that was present in the arena Saturday, we can only hope that there will be even more epic battles between these two crosstown rivals as they battle for supremacy in the Horizon League. You heard it from me, Seth Walker, from the Spex Howard School of Media Arts.